Hey guys, it's Greg from Well Accountants. Today we're going to talk about why QuickBooks is a great solution for small business and just a glimpse of uh, what you might be in for. So let's get started and look at the plans they have available. So you've got Simple Start, Essentials and Plus. Typically the Simple Start plan is what we recommend for new small business. And in fact, uh, you may not need to change for some time. A lot of the features in bold um, not really, uh, not really uh, helpful. Uh, as the simple start actually has all the features you need. So we'll just quickly go through a few features and I'll show you in a demo file what that looks like. So tracking income and expenses, so we need that to work out how much money we made. So um, we can tell the ATO if we made money or not and if we need to pay tax. Uh, we need to be able to send invoices uh, so we can get paid. So that's, uh, we'll look at that. Uh, we need to be able to store our receipts just in case we get audited. ATO want to know or prove that we did pay for those uh, items and what they are. Another one is uh, connecting your bank, so that's important so that the uh, all the bank transactions, everything happened in the bank statements, uh, we've been able to identify it and, and know what it is. Uh, and then the last thing we'll look at here is the tracking the GSD and uh, lodging that with the ATO. So if we go over to this file, the first thing we'll look at is the uh, connecting your bank, it's usually the first step. So if we go to bookkeeping here, and then we've got transactions. Uh, on this screen, we've got Commonwealth Bank. So this is a bank account that's been connected. You can see it's got this number two, because there's two transactions down here that haven't been entered in the file yet. So the description box is actually the bank statement. So it says BP, that's what it said on the bank statement. And you can see in category, because it's not in the file yet, it's actually suggesting uh, an expense there which is travel, it's pretty close, but let's just say uh, it is fuel. So we do that, we know there's GST on it because we saw the invoice, so we go yes. And then we go add. So now it's in the file, so if, if we run reports, it's gonna show us that fuel amount. So the next transaction is deposit John. It's suggesting it's a sale, so we know it is. So we'll just simply accept that that it's a sale and there's also GST on it because we're GST registered. So we're gonna add that as well. So now our bank should be reconciled and it should match. Um, we're gonna get, now go back to the list here. So sending and receiving invoices, uh, it, pretty straightforward. If we go to getting paid, you can then create an invoice. So it gives you uh, all these different fields that you need to complete. A lot of it can be pre-filled based on templates. So we'll select the customer. John Smith is our example client customer and you got John Smith at Gmail. Pretty straightforward there. So here's the part that you can put a bit more detail into so you can have pre-made templates around what services or things you sell. So we can just put sale and then you can, you know, you can just put a description, you know, for the, for this week ended. Um, so you can say maybe you did 40 hours of work at $50, so it's $2,000. So you can click uh, down the bottom right, make sure you get the email address right, save and send, pretty straightforward. Um, one of the things when you go to set up the template, which is under customize, you can edit. You can put, uh, you know, add your bank details. There's a lot of custom ability uh, making it uh, fine tuned for what you want it to look like. Uh, but don't be worried, uh, all the key information you need for the ATO purposes on there. It's just presentation, color, all that sort of stuff, which you can uh, have a play around with. So if we go back to the list, so snap and store receipts. So maybe with that fuel receipt, we've got it and we want to make sure that we don't lose it from a tax point of view. If we go back to the bookkeeping and transactions in the receipts, there's two options here to upload your receipts. So you can just manually add them, drag them uh, on this computer, uh, or you can set up a email address um, here. So you can just make up, you know, whatever email address you want. Um, and then that way it's easy that you can just forward your uh, emails Oh, you're sorry, your receipts to this email address. Uh, that way they will appear in uh, this list here, which you then can, when you uh, allocate the transactions on this screen, be able to match them. 
tracking your GST and, and lodging your invoice, uh, uh, your GST. So if you go to GST, so in this screen, it doesn't give me the option because I'm on an account file to show the connection to the ATO. However, it already is giving us a snapshot of how much we collected in this, um, this quarter here, the January to March quarter. So we owe $23, we've collected 27 and we've paid four. If we were to say pay this, we would just simply go through the process selecting the period and it will give us an option once that's submitted to be lodged with the ATO. The last thing we want to quickly look at is the tracking income and expenses is pretty much the same as the insights and reports. So once you've completed the bookkeeping process here by adding all your transactions from the bank statement here, then we can look at reports and say, did we make money? How much? Uh, so we'll go for an example, go to this reports here, business overview reports, and then you've got here profit and loss. This is a very popular one. I'm going to change the date range to this financial year. So there was two transactions. We can see the date range is updated. We can run report. So we've got sales of $272.73. You might be asking, wasn't it $300? Well, $300 was actually including GST. So you remember that when we selected sales, uh, we said it was including GST. So it's made that adjustment for us. So after deducting our fuel, which has happened uh, the same here, it was $4 of uh, GST there which means we've got a profit of, or net earnings of $227.28. So this would be included in our tax return when we get to the end of the year. So if you've found the, uh, this video helpful, you know, give us a like, or if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.